Hey folks, welcome back to Real Southern Outdoors. Now today's video, it's going to be something a little different. It's going to be a subscriber's request. Now, we're going to be doing a test on some things here. Uh, the question come up, if you run out of vacuum sealing bags, or if you didn't have vacuum sealing bags on hand at the time, and you needed to vacuum seal something, could you use these like heavy duty freezer bags, Ziploc type? And my answer to part one was absolutely yes. People do it all the time. Another question that come up: Were they as durable as vacuum seal bags? Will they hold up as long? And is it worth paying for vacuum seal rolls? Is this a cheaper method? You know, is is this just as fresh at the end of the day as this is? That's all questions that are yet to be answered. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to test vacuum seal bags, Ziploc bags that's been vacuum sealed, and then we're just going to test some, just putting corn in the Ziploc bag and sealing it without vacuum sealing any. And we're going to do a comparison, what works better, uh, which one holds up better, uh, or is it even worth it at all? Is it worth going to the expense and taking the time of vacuum sealing? Would we be better off just to stick it in a, a Ziploc freezer bag and put it in there? Now today, I'm going to show you just for those who have never done this. Uh, like I say, I don't do it a lot, but I'm going to show you how a Ziploc bag is done. Now, you don't just stip, stick a Ziploc bag in there and hit seal and it work. Um, the reason being, like I say, for those that never done it before or is getting new to vacuum sealing, if you look at your bags, one side is textured, the other side is smooth. And what that textured side is for is when you put your bag in there and you're wanting to seal it, actually it would be in the machine like that, but when you want to seal it, that textured side is there to let the air escape so the machine can pull a vacuum on it and seal it down. Um, being that a Ziploc bag has no textured side, we have to create one. Now how we're going to do that, we're going to take us a pair of scissors and we want to take the Ziploc part of this, we want to cut right down through there and cut this part out. So I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to run right down that Ziploc piece. I'm going to cut my end open. And I'm going to show you on this piece because it's clear. You can see this side kind of got little ribs on it, but they're small. And then the Ziploc piece right in there, I'm going to cut that out. I think some do and some don't, but for this demonstration, I'm going to cut it out and get rid of it. Um, this is just the way that I've done it. Like I say, you may do it different. And I'm sure there's a thousand other ways to try it. People's come up with all different ways to do it but I, I don't I don't use it this way much there's some other things that I want to try and I believe I'm gonna use for some very short term like for a week or so doing things like this for maybe camping and stuff I got some ideas on that I'm gonna be trying and I'm gonna try vacuum seal to just different things but how I'm gonna do this I've already put some up I've put several bags up vacuum sealed them like this in these Ziploc bags and in my vacuum seal bags, I also put some up just single ears of corn. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this one. I'm going to just take some single ears and I'm going to do comparison with full bags and with single ears. And we're going to try this out. I can probably cut that bag off. I'm going to cut it off about right here. And we're going to try this. Now, what you want to do, take your little tabs like this. I've cut that one in half, as you can see. When I get ready to put my bag in here, like I say, you can't just put it in there and it pull a vacuum on it because it is sealed down on itself and it has no way for the air to escape. So we want to lay these little tabs in there stick them down in pretty far I hope you can see that they go pretty far down in there past almost to the corn I'll probably pull them up a little bit off the corn but if 
because we can always cut them off up there. But you want to do them something like that. Lay them in your machine just like you would any other bag. Lock it down. I'm going to put mine on the moist because corn has a lot of moisture in it. And we'll just try it here and see what it does. As you can see, it's pulling the vacuum on it. Now it's sealing it. Another thing with corn, I like—I should have done it now, but I usually use my poles. Because when you see that thing drawing a vacuum and it just keeps pulling that vacuum, it'll start drawing that moisture up out of the top of the bag. And if you get a lot of water up in this top of your bag, even on vacuum seal bags, you don't get a good seal and you'll, you'll think you have it. You lay it over to the side or put it in the freezer and then one day you're looking and you say, well, hey, that didn't seal. So you don't want to be wasting any product. So keep that in mind. Let that be a little trick or tip for you there. Let's see if this one's sealed good. Seems to have. Now, you see what you got there? You can cut these little tabs off right there. Okay, as you can see, I've gone through and I've put corn up just like I did earlier today. I put corn up and I put it all in vacuum seal bags. And I put some up, you know, with several ears at a time, you know, different sizes and all just like this. And then I put some up in singles just like this in the vacuum seal bag because I wanted to be able to compare apples to apples and oranges to oranges, if you will, so I would have an equal test, I guess. And then I've got some just like this that's in just the, uh, the freezer bag like we used to do. Mash it over. We'll get all the air out of it, and uh, we'll seal it up. That way we can be able to test it and see which one works better. Um, if one works better than the other, is it one keep one fresher? Does one last longer, uh, more durable, or what? You know, we'll just kind of see. We'll go from there. And uh, you let me know what you think. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you've tried this, what kind of results you've got, what your opinion is on it. Do you like it? Do you go just vacuum seal bags? Uh, do you have the same results with Ziploc bags, vacuum sealing them? What situations do you use with uh Ziploc bags to do vacuum sealing or do you do it at all? Uh, just let me know. Share your knowledge with me uh, and with the rest of the subscribers and community on YouTube here. Let us know what you find out and keep watching the channel. I'll let you know how this test goes. We'll do a part two or three, whatever we have to do to uh, come up with these results and see which one works and if it's even worth messing with. Um, so until next time, don't forget like, subscribe, share my channel so I can help someone else. And until next time, may God bless you, and we'll catch you later.